Hello, my name is Leslie Rukara and my pay partner in this assignment is Christopher Chivikise. I am going to go to do a to short tutorial on memory forensics using a tool called Dump It is shown on the file there. So for, for us to do the digital forensics. So we have already downloaded it. And we can execute it using the command prompt. So in command prompt, we'll be considering that this is Python command prompt. And we run it as an administrator. And this one has privileges. So we are considering that this one has privileges. So here we're just adjusting the screen to make the resolution bigger. And then we command the, we run the command change directory there, which is short, cd in short. Then we use dump, dump it cd executable file, and we wait for it to process. So we type dump it, then we wait for it to process. So here it is now processing. Yes, so here it is now processing and showing that uh, the file is quite large. It's two gigabytes worth. It's quite large. And uh, these are just statistics of uh, dump it. So here we're just calling the file where it was located. So that we can see the statistics and information that we will be having it is telling us that we have two okay let's just expand it yeah, yeah it, 204 megabytes that's on our hard disk drive then here we will choose to continue so we'll say yes then if we continue then if we continue whilst it is processing we select the file that we will consider so that one is dump it and uh, it comes in several forms which can be executable file like uh, that one dot exe then there's the one beneath it yes this one The one beneath it is a raw file. So those are just uh, different types or several forms uh, which can be an executable file or it can be a raw file that will be the raw file now these are the different types of files that exist or are created using dump it all those ones so they can be command based prompt based or by use of a virtual machine
so here we just created a document that is going to show us running a volatility check so we're also going to do volatility check using volatility 2.5 the same there so these are just some of the notes that we have created so the volatility 2.5 tool enables us to check how to investigate memory particularly memory image of the dump it that we would have created so here we're just running an executable file uh, in the command prompt so we're using volatility 2.5 so we can choose to run it in python because this one will be expressing it in windows otherwise it can be done as the raw file itself or in python or as a virtual memory in a virtual machine so this one we're just waiting for it to execute and then we're just waiting for it to change the directory So here it has changed, it's still processing. So just to mention something, memory forensics is a very important skill, especially if you're working in the forensics industry. So this one gives us the ability to investigate any memory images that would have been created which is really important because large data is always uh, created. So again, this is our web document that we had created showing our links and information on volatility. And that is our, our file. So as we move on, all those that are executable dump files that are those that are being out, pointed out there that have been created, and these are the ones that we can use and run. And here would be. And here we would have we would have test would have been testing for volatility. So the results are gathered in this file. And then we're back to our executable document. So we have to consider that we have to find a profile name. Exactly some something like that profile name of the file and usually the profile name is usually the one before the type of executable file that we have so so here we are just uh, executing our command So, as we are back to our command, we're going to be using that and we type the command that you see there. And then as it runs, we're trying to find the profile name from the particular file.
this will just be for us to be able to fit the particular profile to the particular profile name so we give it a while to run is it um, it hasn't even started it will take a while you see so we're just waiting for it to finish so whilst it runs i'll just comment that uh, dump it provides a convenient way of obtaining a memory image of a windows system even if the investigator is not physically sitting in front of the target computer. So this promotes convenience because um, we are in a global world. So these are the results. So here it is showing that there are different types. So all those are statistics from the results. So that's the information that we get from volatility. So as we live in a global village, it is really important And we need we need to be able to check certain items and certain things so this will be our checks very very important indeed so here we're just waiting for it to process again we're using volatility 2.5 in the dump it, dump it executable file So image information found is now stated there. That's what we see. Um, so the image info to find out the profile information is what we are highlighting there. Where the yellow cursor is. So it has performed the, the, the scan. And there is a dish dish information so this is also the scan performing The results are coming.